So there's a few stages to uh, detecting a lost ball. Uh, we know at the moment this is just going ahead and bouncing off the bottom. And actually, interestingly, if we were to increase the velocity on the y-axis enough when we go ahead and release the ball, this game is pretty much just going to play itself. So you can see that that's just going to go ahead and get rid of uh, all of the bricks. So let's go ahead and revert that velocity back. And first of all, look when we create our game at disabling the collision on the very bottom. So by this, what we do is we say this game physics, much like we've done for all of our uh, prefabs, our ball, uh, our bricks and all that kind of stuff. We say arcade check collision. And we say on down, well, we just want to set this to false. All that's going to do is when we go ahead and release the ball and that goes ahead and goes down, it's just not going to collide off. It's just going to essentially be lost. Now, this isn't enough just yet to go ahead and detect whether that has actually uh, gone down and come out of bounds. We need to add a check on setup ball or pretty much wherever else you want, but it's a little bit easier to do this in here. And we want to say something like in between here, this ball, and we're going to say events and on out of bounds. So on out of bounds, we want to add an event handler, much like we've done for other things in our application. And we're going to say this ball at lost. So we're going to call a method, pass through the current game. And down here, we can implement that method. And of course, just to test this out, we can go ahead and do a console log. OK, so on out of bounds, we call ball lost and we can handle the uh, lives being decremented. So you'll notice now. When that goes out of bounds, we see test. OK, so when the ball is out of bounds, then what do we want to do? Well, the first thing is to decrement the lives in our application. We know that this is part of our globals. So we're going to say game global lives. And of course, this is going to go ahead and decrement that. And of course, what we want to do is update the lives text. So that's going to go ahead and update. So we're going to set this to lives and it's going to be exactly what we've just decremented here, like so. So we can test this out if we head over to the browser and click, wait for that to go down the bottom. And of course, lives are decremented. Now, the only thing that we're not doing here is putting the ball back on the paddle. That's another thing that we want to do. And we know that when the ball is lost, we can just call the same method that we've used before this put ball on paddle. So we go ahead and try this out now. What's going to happen is that's going to decrement the live. It's going to put the ball back on the paddle. And essentially, we can just start again until, of course, it goes down. Now, the only other issue is once we get to zero, that should be the point that we switch over and end the game. But at the moment, that's not going to be the case because that's just going to go to minus one, minus two and so on and so forth. So that was a really quick way of going ahead and checking that the ball has gone out of bounds. We're going to move over to the next part now because this is going to be adding an entirely new screen to our game. Once we get down to zero lives, we're going to show that new screen. So this is going to take a little bit longer. So now that we've got this uh, ball not bouncing off the bottom, we can move over to that part.